Holly, Valentina, how are you? Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much for taking the time. Valentina, you, we go back a long way, so she, she knows this face. <laughs> yes, from a <the> long time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, first off, let me say congratulations on the release of the film. I had a chance to watch it last week. And, and Holly, for you, I know this was uh, the word passion project probably doesn't even really describe what this film meant to you after you got the script. It wasn't originally written for you. It became a project for you. You ended up directing it. Can you kind of give me the the just the lay of the land of how this whole thing came together and, and how much this film really means to you? I'll start with the last question. This film is so instricably connected to my heart. It's a, about a sport uh, surrounding a sport that I love so much, especially the women of the sport uh, that I love so much. And um, the story of a fighter is something I've always connected to. Um, I love a good fight movie, starting with the original Rocky and Million Dollar Baby and The Wrestler and everyone in between. So um, it's, it's, it's something that resonated very deeply with me. And when I read the script, no, it wasn't written for someone like me, but the producers gave me an opportunity to reimagine it into a world that I did understand, to characters that felt true for me, characters that I felt like I knew that I had um, intel on. And so I set it in a world that I knew around a sport that I loved. And it didn't get better than that for me. Uh, the thing about combat sports movies in general, whether we're talking about boxing or MMA, is authenticity. Authenticity is, you know, one of the biggest parts of these movies, making it look real, making it seem real. Uh, Holly, did you, did you pick Valentina? How did you get involved with, you know, getting Valentina involved with this project? I did pick Valentina because who wouldn't pick Valentina? <laughs> and, you know, my process was if I'm, you know, trying to portray a real fighter, I had to choose someone that would be in my weight class. If I were really fighting, I would be a flyweight. I mean, it would be a natural flyweight. So it did seem a little far fetched when when I realized I would be a flyweight to go after the um, or to ask the champion, the reigning champion to take time out of her busy schedule and, 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 and reigning to come make a movie. So I didn't know if she would say yes, but I thought, you know, this means so much to me. All she can do is say is no, but I had to try. But to my surprise, when I reached out to her, she said, yes, let me read it. And she very quickly got back to me and she said yes. And, you know, that's when I started pinching myself and started to realize, holy shit, <laughs> Valentina said, you know, and she made all the difference, um, um, in my opinion. Valentina, what was your reaction when you initially got approached about doing a movie like this? I mean, of course, everyone knows you're one of the greatest fighters on the planet. Uh, you know, you've been an incredible champion for so long. What was your reaction when you got the call to say, hey, do you want to be in a movie with Halle Berry? Who would say no if Halle Berry calling you? <laughs> it's not a question. It's, uh, you know, uh, uh, at that moment, we were in uh, Australia. We were in Australia and it kind of was um, our like um, travel, what we are doing all the time. And I suppose um, I got offer from the, to have my uh, fight, to fight for a title in Australia. And it was uh, the only one time when I said like, okay, just give me a, a little bit more time because I knew it's kind of like, um, uh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of like it will be in the same time for the when we have to prepare for the movie and I will have to prepare for the fight and it was only time when I asked you see to have a different date for me <laughs> because yeah I really wanted to be a part what uh, um, like Heli is uh, like movie it's uh, about like great story about female fighters about all this like uh, everything what I um, leave and like uh, everything like what I uh, really imagined has to be a movie right and to be a part of it definitely it was something like uh, I would want it to do and yeah I um, I, I'm, I feel very huge honor to be a part of, of this movie <laughs> absolutely Hallie I know I've seen other interviews where you've talked about you did about I think you said like two and a half years of training to get ready for this. And I mentioned authenticity because MMA, 
is such a difficult sport to learn. I mean, it's, it, I, I have the utmost respect for boxing, but you know, you, you might be able to fake boxing a little easier than you can fake MMA because there's so much that goes into that. So what was it like training? And, and I, and I know from talking to Valentina, the past, you guys did train together. She was teaching you, she was helping you. Like, what was it like to go through that kind of, uh, you know, basic training, so to speak of getting ready to film this movie and actually learning MMA? It is hands down one of the hardest, the hardest thing I've ever done in my professional career, for sure. I think it's only second to childbirth. (laughs) I had to push myself further than I'd ever pushed myself. And all those disciplines are at play. So I had to learn bits of all of it and to become, you know, you can't just all of a sudden look like you're a real fighter. You really have to take the time and just put in the work and let your body sort of transform to look that way. You have to, I had to get some of these techniques in my body, you know, so that when shoot day came, you know, I wasn't still struggling, but that I had these things solidly in my body. And then when Valentina came along and I started to train with her, my, my game just went up immediately because when you're working with a real champion, a real fighter, there were so many things she offered to me in her words, her encouragement, but sometimes it was just being on the other side of her. And when she throws those kicks, you need to get out of the way. Like I learned very quickly how to maneuver around the cage when you're really working with someone that does it at, you know, such a high level like she does. How is that for you, Valentina, you know, because you've worked with, uh, you know, you've worked with, you know, young fighters, uh, veteran fighters, you work with a lot of people. How is it working with Hallie and training her and getting her ready? Because I know you told me in one of our other interviews, you said uh, if Hallie had decided to be a fighter, she would have been like a legit UFC fighter. It's exactly, it's uh, my opinion, the voice and still the same. If she wanted to be a fighter, professional fighter, she can be whoever she wants. Uh, but you know, the most amazing is what I felt the dedication, what Halle had. We trained like two months every day, every single day for five hours, seven to one. And you know, it, the training, it was um, very similar to uh, what I do like for my training camp, because for um, when I train, I kind of like train my fight mood, my training mood, it's um, no smiling and like just work and be very, con- um, have the concentration on the things, what I do on technique. And this is what we like were doing for two months. And this is, I was like, okay, this is completely different. Ellie, she is so different because she was so dedicated, so ready to do no matter what she has to do, but for like final, uh, to make everything looks like perfect. And I knew that as the main idea, her idea of the fight scene, it has to be real. It has to be real fight, more real as possible. And you know, sometimes she was like in the training, she was like, Ah, Valentina, you have to hit me harder. I was like, Hey, I'm not sure. She said like, no, you had to hit me. I have to feel that. I was like, okay, I do my best. But I, yes, I try, I try to make her like feel very comfortable uh, because I wanted to um, like have this confidence between each us that uh, no matter how other side can look furious, angry, or ready to hit the fullest, we kind of like are not going to hit each other, like you're not going to miss the punch to the face or something like that. <laughs> um, Holly, I, I... Yeah, but you do have to know I am a masochist. <laughs> 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 learn that about me because when I would say to her Valentina come on give it to me give it to me give it to me for me there was an element because I never really fought before I wanted to get some feeling of what that would really feel like you know I I, I needed that and I was feeding off that and sometimes, sometimes I, after like Helia approaching, like and saying like, do it, do it. And I go in the same mood, like, okay, I'm a little bit like putting a little bit more power, a little bit more. And then I cut myself that, okay, I have to stop. I have to stop a little bit and back up. <laughs> because she was like all this intensity. I was like more and more and more ready to give everything. <laughs> Um, Holly, let me ask, because so much of this is, you know, talking about MMA and that's kind of my world in MMA, but this movie, when I watched it last week, um, it goes so far beyond MMA. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a hard movie to watch at certain points and I won't spoil anything, but there's some parts that were hard to watch. Uh, it's a very emotional story. It's a family story. It's a story about a mother and a son. And 
can you kind of give me a sense of like that part of the story going beyond the MMA? Well, the MMA is definitely a huge part of the story. It goes so far beyond that. Yeah, and I think the best uh, fight movies that I've ever seen goes beyond the ring. You know, we want to understand what's driving people to fight and be a part of that sport in such the way that they are, right? And it's interesting that you say it was hard to watch. My thought process was always, it's hard to watch, but imagine living it. You know, imagine how hard it is to live if it's hard to watch. And I wanted to bring light into this dark world. I wanted to bring humanity to these broken, fractured, you know, characters that I know so well. They were they littered my childhood, so I know them to be real and to be true. And I think this is the thing that connects us one to another. We all go through hard times. We're all struggling to survive the damage of our childhood because nobody had a perfect childhood. Nobody, I don't care who you are, you don't escape it. So it's about trying to put our pieces back together, trying to find redemption, trying to ask for forgiveness, um, finding ways to sort of be the best versions of ourselves. And all of these characters were equally broken and fractured, but equally as wonderful and um, full of heart and soul. And, and it was very important for me to put these elements in the story as well. Absolutely. Uh, Valentina, I know that, uh, I, again, I'm not going to get into spoilers, but there's, of course, a big fight scene. We all know there's a fight scene between you and Hallie in the movie. Uh, we've seen the, you know, the photos and things like that. What was it like being in that as a fighter? Because it's not, you know, it's not real, but you've got to make it look as real as possible. And you are, of course, one of the you know greatest fighters on the planet. So you know what it's like to be in there. But how how big was that for you to make that fight sequence look as real as possible without actually, you know, taking Hallie's head off with a head kick or something. <laughs> um, I would not say that it was uh, a kind of like difficult, like to switch this chip, like from the real fight to the, uh, what I have to do on the set. The most, uh, I would say difficult, it was do it all over again and again and again in full power because uh, for me it was my longest five rounds fight <laughs> it was not 25 minutes it was like five rounds for five days what we were filming the uh, fight sequences so uh, and when you are doing it like with all your power because you know that every single shot has to be perfect and definitely it's so tiring and not only physically but emotionally Emotionally, but definitely you want to show the best. You want to show like the best of you, the powerful of you, and don't miss any other thing that you will regret after, oh, I should do that, I should do like differently. No, you have to be very concentrated and think about what you are doing. And I would say the timing, the timing of the filming, but I enjoyed. I enjoyed every single moment, second of the being on the set, and it was just amazing experience for me I'll, I'll close out on this and i'll ask hallie you know this is your first direction this is the first time you direct a, a, a film and uh you did an amazing job by the way uh with that being said you did not pick an easy thing to direct you're directing yourself in fight scenes you're directing yourself in some pretty really dramatic scenes i mean could i imagine like this was the best kind of introductory you know <laughs> experience into into uh into directing because it's like trial by fire with a movie like this and i think you did a tremendous job and i think the reaction we've seen from the reviews and you know i'll personally say i really enjoyed the film uh what just what a what an achievement thank you thank you so very much it, it was you know there were many days when i thought oh god this is harder than me because it, it was really hard um, but when I surrounded myself with Valentina Chevchenko and all the other actors that were brilliant in their own way, and I had a wonderful crew that was there for me every step of the way when those days got hard, and they did, and there were a lot of tears, and there were a lot of, Valentina would see it, I would come to training, and I'd be distraught, I'd be crying about something, something gone wrong, I lost half my budget, I had to cut out days of the script, you know, it was, I was in constant angst, but at the end of the day, um, I'm really glad I faced it, I'm really glad I did it, and it let me know that I can do it again, and I don't think it'll ever be this hard again, so that's the good news. <laughs> I've I've done it the hardest possible way somebody can do it. Well, thank you both so much for doing this today. I really appreciate it. Cannot wait for the rest of the world to see the film. I've seen it. I loved it. Great job for both of you. And thank you for taking the time for me today. I really appreciate it. 
Thank you. Thank you very much.